Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Shine TV. It's me, Kitty Shine, Jasmine Shine, whatever you want to call me. Anyway, again, I like to start my videos with thanking everybody for subscribing. Thank you if you thank you if you've liked any videos, comment, interacted with me in any kind of way. I really appreciate it. Other than that, this video, I'm assuming you want to see my top five dumbest mistakes I made as a stripper. I'm sure y'all want to see that kind of shit. It's probably amusing to some of y'all people. But other than that, let's get right into the video. Video. So we're going to start at number five. The dumbest decision I made as a stripper. This is one of my, I feel like it's one of the dumbest decisions I used to make. And I still do the shit buying too much new furniture like buying i buy new furniture every year like i've literally been dancing and had my own apartment since 18 i'm not even gonna count the furniture in there so probably since like 19. i literally have a different piece of furniture every time i move somewhere i probably kept the same furniture for two years and that was like two years ago I never keep the same furniture and furniture is not cheap and I didn't have didn't like I had a plug on the furniture I literally was buying cashing out on this high-ass furniture but I mean yeah you know you're supposed to have your house nice or whatever but I just feel like because I knew I was gonna make the money back it was like fuck I was I was giving away shit like it wasn't like I was just selling it and then buying some more shit I would be giving shit away to people like like beds fucking dressers nightstands couches like i i recently sold my stuff when i moved to vegas but years before that i wasn't selling shit i was getting rid of shit like and that's one of my biggest regrets my grandma and my mom was always like all this shit you had you could have made money off of it or you always gotta have some new shit like bathroom shit everything I always gotta buy new shit. Like, I think that that's a problem I have. And it's only because I knew I was gonna get the money, so it's like, fuck it. Dumbest decision number four. Not filing my taxes. Now, why in the fuck? I, I don't even, honestly, I don't know why I wasn't. Matter of fact, I know why I'm filing my, I wasn't filing my taxes. I don't have any knowledge of fucking filing taxes for one like and then all the girls I knew over the years that was filing their taxes in the clubs like they had kids so it was like maybe I don't have to do this shit you know what I mean why I don't know I didn't I don't remember a class in school like taxes this is so important I don't remember no shit like that and I don't think I had a class like that so here I am at 28 having to go back into time to file my taxes and it's it's cool, but I just wish I would have did that shit back then and had all my affairs in order back then. So, girls, if you are not filing your taxes and you did and you like 20, do that shit. And you can, um, like, make your dance name or whatever, like a business, so that you can file and yourself as, like, a business. Like, so it would be way easier to write shit off. All right, let's see. My dumb... My dumbest decision to me, um, number three. So one year when I was 21, I had just turned 21, I think, or 22, 21 or 22. I had a really good birthday set. And I literally took $10,000 out of the birthday set money that I had and would have put it as a down payment on a car at CarMax. At CarMax. That shit was the dumbest shit in the world I could have did. First off, why the fuck would I put $10,000 down? Like, that shit didn't get my payments lower either. Like, and if it did, it wasn't no significant ass lowered price. Like, and I had a boyfriend at the time and he let me go do that dumb ass shit. Like, literally went in CarMax, took them $10,000 to get a Dodge Durango that wasn't even brand new. Like, 
That shit is one of the stupidest decisions I feel like I fucking made to this day. Like, what the fuck was I thinking about? Just young, dumbass shit. Like, that's number three for me. Number three for me. Number two is not investing into property. All the money I've touched, I should own a house. I should have also like paid my cars off. Like I used to have cars like, and I could have already paid them off, but my mindset is nowhere near where it is now. Like I just, I hate that I went through that. Like bullshit, dumbass phase. Like I should be owning shit or at least have my own motherfucking place like that I can call my own. Now I feel like I'm finna be playing catch up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's definitely a goal of mine and I'm definitely gonna get there, but now it's like I wasted so much time in my 20s, so much money. And I know it's like I'm to blame, but then it's again, it's like I don't have, and a lot of girls who dance, they don't have people who are financial advisors in their lives. Like we're literally jumping into an adult world when you're, I started dancing in at 18, 19. So me jumping into that world, getting this type of money, touching money like this for all these years. My mama ain't touching money like this. Like, I don't have nobody to tell me, hey, look, I didn't have nobody to sit me down. Like, you need to put this into this, this into that. I didn't have that. Like, now here I am at 28, learning from my mistakes, trying to piece shit back together and get shit right now. And I'm not in a rush or anything, but I'm definitely, I regret not doing it. But hey, my time ain't up yet. And my number one top dumbest decision I think a lot of strippers make is not saving enough motherfucking money. That goes back to not having financial advisors and being smart with fucking money. Like, the money that we fucking touch is no reason that it sh we should all be fucking no less than millionaires. Like, millionaires is really trying me, trying us. Like, for real. Like, and... Yeah, it's girls out there, like I can save money, but if I would have started saving money when I first started shaking my ass, I wouldn't still be shaking my ass at 28. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you'll find girls that say they've been saving, they've been dancing for years and they're still dancing. And so I don't know what their goal is, but it's like, when you come into the shit, we need to establish you need to establish a goal. It's hard though, cause you come in with such a young mind. Like if you come in, if I go in now at 28, when I go back home to dance and now I know, hey, this is what I need to do. A, B, C, D. I need this much money, this much money. I need to pay this off. I need to own. I'm, I got my shit in order now versus somebody who just dancing at 21. They just there for the bread. And that's exactly how I was. Like that shit don't cut on to you even about saving money, like really saving money and not buying bullshit ass bags and shit that don't even amount to shit that shit don't come into you at least like 25 26 like and that's with me just seeing bitches around me who was the same age going through the same kind of mind changes around that time like other than that that was my number one dumbest decision i've made as a stripper i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you have any questions anything to add please keep everything no negativity because i will block your ass other than that if you want to comment ask questions feel, feel free to do it below other than that don't forget to like this video subscribe share this video turn my little bell on so you can know every time that i'm posting so that you don't miss anything and if you get a chance go watch all my past videos so you can catch up and other than that i'll see you next time on shine tv Bye.